Okay, so we have a MacBook Pro here, uh, Unibody, that was brought to us with a boot up problem. So what we're going to do is turn it on, and we get the chime, and we get the apple. So we're probably three-fourths of the way there. So we're going to let this uh, start up and see what happens. Now, as we can see, uh, the user had the uh, application CD in there. So, obviously, they were trying to run uh, the tools on it to uh, do a hardware check. I don't know exactly what happened from that, so we'll see what kind of uh, error code we get from the physical Apple screen here. It'll probably take a minute or two before it actually uh, defaults out and gives us the error. What we were being told from our user is that uh, we get a circle with a line through it, like a do not enter sign. So uh, we had a circle with a line through it, and uh, it was still had the scrolling portion at the bottom now if that ends up being the case we have uh, one of three things that has happened uh, failed hard drive uh, most of the time people say well it's a folder mark with a question folder with a question mark in it that is also the case but we could have a failed hard drive we could have a a system file that's been damaged or an improper shutdown uh, in those three you know we see uh, relatively all of them are linked to a software and or hardware uh, issue could be a hardware could be a software uh, type deal they're all they all act in relatively the same form or fashion when they fail to start up just like this uh, system's doing right here. The extended boot that we're seeing, the time that it's taking to start up, uh, the hesitation in the system to go past uh, what is functionally known as a BIOS screen on PCs. This would be a BIOS screen on an Apple. So the uh, boot process for it is taking far longer than it should and that's due to either a failed component or a uh, failed operating system but we have to confirm whether or not the uh, failure is due to uh, what the uh, user has stated and we have to verify what is actually going on with it. This will be the first time we've actually turned it on. Uh, the CD actually or the DVD actually auto ejected itself so we'll have to uh, see what's going on and uh, where it's at in the actual process of being repaired. What we're going to do is uh, let this do its thing to try to uh, get to a failure. We'll let it continue to boot up, but we're not going to sit here and videotape minute after minute uh, until it does something. So what we're going to do is stop the video right now and then pick it up once we get our confirmation of what our error is. Okay, so not even... 30 seconds after we cut the video off did we get our error but um, as we can see there is a circle with a light through it as stated by our user so what we're going to do is um, test and see what's going on uh, obviously they ran a hardware test and did not tell us what's going on with it uh, whether the hard drive was bad or not so 
what we're going to do is actually take the application CD and see if we cannot uh, run Time Machine on it to see what we can get back. So that's where we're going to go with this one. So our problem seems to be software based and um, so we've uh, reinstalled the OS X and we're going to uh, let it finalize and see if that fixes it but most likely that's going to be the repair for our system here